The 2014-2017 Triennial Plan was adopted at the 40th World Scout Conference. To respond to the tasks outlined in the plan, the World Scout Committee set up four work streams, comprised of volunteers from around the world. In all groups, over 30% of members are below the age of 30. These work streams are Innovating Scouting Reaching out to all Strengthening Scouting's profile and Governance and NSO support Apart from these, the World Scout Committee has organized its work in three task forces, four standing committees and one overarching strategy monitoring group. Each of these has specific tasks and has made significant progress towards achieving goals so far. So let's hear about them. Through innovative events, programs and frameworks, we will ensure effective implementation of policies that help prepare Scouts to be active citizens. We love sharing best practices, and even more if they're about youth involvement. This allows NSOs to learn from each other and adapt to what's better for them. Ensuring this exchange has been one of the tasks given to the Youth Engagement Unit. World events are the perfect place to experience the scouting spirit. That's why the last five World Scout moots are currently being reviewed in order to enable the next moot to attract more youth participants and respond better to their needs. The moot review unit is heading this work. One of the units in this work stream is currently aligning and defining the guidelines of world programs and initiatives, messengers of peace, scenes, World Scout Environment Program and the Scouts of the World Award. The workstream is also working on reviewing the Scout method as well as ensuring that peace and human rights education have a prominent place in our youth program. Scouts, Messengers of Peace, have clocked up more than 630 million service hours worldwide, contributing to a better life in their local communities. The Messengers of Peace midterm evaluation, conducted in 2015, has shown how the initiative has had a great impact on a personal level and empowered Scouts to do good and promote peace. So far, the initiative has supported over 200 funded and 170,000 unfunded projects. The return on investment has been truly magnificent. For every one US dollar invested, there have been over 70 hours of service registered. We want the scouting to reach out to all through the development of resources, tools, and sharing of knowledge. We will support NSOs to increasingly reflect the rich diversity of their communities and improve their social impact. The Workstream has prepared a concept paper on scouting's definition of social impact and its measurement. Following this work, we are now seeking partners among knowledge institutions to help us develop a social impact measurement toolkit for NSOs. Scouting around the world is full of diversity, that's why we want to learn from it. The Diversity and Inclusion team has been developing a plan for running six pilot projects, one per region, concerning this topic so that the best practices can be shared and implemented by NSOs. If you have any existing projects or activities in mind, let us know. We will tell a scouting story, develop effective partnerships and advocate for the change that we want to see in the world. The development of the WASM Communications and External Relations Strategy has started with the setup of a cross-regional task force, including both volunteer and World Scout Bureau experts. The task force will seek NSO inputs and feedback at the regional conferences. The Communications Unit prioritized support to the media functions of the 23rd World Scout Jamboree. Work on other key projects, for example review of WASM communications channels, including Scout.org, has been resumed after the Jamboree. 
The External Relations Unit has been trying to map out all existing partnerships within WASM in order to ensure that every partner has a positive image of WASM. We also participate in the main UN events such as the UNESCO Youth Forum and COP21, working to make scouting the leading youth educational movement in the world. The unit also supported the delivery of the Global Development Village at the Jamboree. Together with NSOs, we will strengthen our unity and develop capacity to help grow scouting around the world. WASM aims at enabling each NSO to implement the highest quality of youth program and adult leader support system. This is where the global support system comes in. It helps NSOs in assessing their work and identifying areas where further improvement is needed. Further. It provides assistance to NSOs through strengthening their capacities in governance and management. The Working Methods Unit is focusing on how things are done. Firstly within the World Scout Committee, but then also looking outwards and supporting regions as well. The work is varied, although it can be summed up in the following two tasks. Monitoring the effective implementation of the renewed working methods by the World Scout Committee and its teams, and holding consultation sessions at all regional conferences in order to develop a common understanding and common expected standards of transparency among NSOs. The Strategy Monitoring Group is a transversal group that ensures progress is being made, monitored, and reported on to NSOs as well as the World Scout Committee. This group monitors the progress towards achieving the key performance indicators set by the four work streams. These key performance indicators will be used in reporting towards the World Scout Committee and World Scout Conference, meaning also NSOs. This is what WASM is doing to move towards Vision 2023, but we are eager to know what you are doing in your NSOs to reach our targets. What are you doing to increase growth in your NSOs? What to become more influential in your country's decision-making related to young people? What are you doing to have more impact in local communities? And finally, what about being united with NSOs around the world? We need to make sure all the regions understand the meaning of the Strategy for Scouting 2023 and the direction in which we are heading. That is why this group is in charge of aligning the regions and NSOs with the Strategy for Scouting and the Triennial Plan 2014-2017 by supporting them in strategic planning, monitoring and evaluation. We'll have another update on our work ready for you in April 2016. Watch out for the midterm review of the World Scout Committee. There is still a lot to be done to reach our targets and we hope we can count on your support.